Now, when working with surfaces, you're really able to create pretty complex geometry, which is great, but it can also mean that trying to recreate that geometry can be pretty hard. So here I have a surface that I created. And now since I'm trying to create an offset from these surfaces, since these surfaces are going in all three directions, I'm gonna need to create a 3D sketch. So let's go ahead and do that first. Go over to sketch. Let's start a new 3D sketch. So this tool is only available for 3D sketches. So let's, we'll start a new 3D sketch and let's grab our offset on surface tool. It's available right in the command manager tab for your sketch. And that's this tool up here, offset on surface. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Um, now here, like I said, you can select edges, you can select faces. Um, let's select this orange face right here. That's a little bit too big. Let's change that to three millimeters, for example. And you can see that it's offsetting that kind of all around our surface, something that would be kind of much more complicated to do um, earlier or before this tool was introduced. Now that I have this, I can use it for any kind of command. Let's say we wanted to trim that away. I can go over to surfaces, say trim surface, and I'm using this 3D sketch as my trim tool. So I'll remove that. You can see we can create this geometry with pretty relative ease. Um, like I said before, this would be much more complicated to do. So I'm really glad when they introduced this back in 2017. In the same command, this offset on surface command that we were just talking about, they also made a change in 2019. So introduced it in 2017, changed it in 2019. Um, and this change was where you can specify how you want that offset to be measured. So since these offsets are happening along the curve being created by the surface, they added the option for the offset distance to be calculated taking the curvature of the surface into account rather than just a linear measurement like it was in 2017 and 2018. Um, and this is what we call geodesic entities. So I'll do another 3D sketch. Like I said, this command is really for 3D sketches. I'll do offset on surface again, same command. Um, but now let's say I wanna pick this edge and let's change this parameters to like 30 millimeters. Um, now what they added in 2020 was this option, this offset type. So I can either have it be geodesic entities where that distance is being measured along the curve of this surface or Euclidean where it's just taking a linear measurement basically from your selected entity to where it's offsetting from. If I zoom in, we should be able to see a difference between those two, whether I'm doing geodesic or Euclidean, those two different options. You can see that the result is a little bit different. So you do have um, a little bit more control about how you are doing these offsets um, and getting really exactly the design that you're after and how that's being measured. I click OK. It's now being measured kind of along the surface of that surface.